Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the difference between smooth mode and sprite mode in Cartoon Animator, as well as how we can create a hybrid character that utilizes both. Let's start off with our character first, which doesn't have any eyelids at the moment. I'll enter into Composer mode and launch it into Affinity Designer so we can add these. Using the pen tool, we can draw the eyelids, adjust their colors, and rename the layers. After that, we need to export the file to CTA as an SVG. To update from Affinity Designer, you need to overwrite the original file from the CTA5 temp folder that is created whenever you launch to Affinity or other software. For more info on this, please check out our tutorial dealing specifically with creating SVG characters in Affinity Designer. So we have these eyelids now, but they're not yet connected to the actual eye. To do this, we need to select each eyelid from the layer list, open the bone editor, and then connect it to the eye bone. Do the same thing for both, and when completed in the subdivision section, you can increase the width and height values to give you smoother and more detailed performance. You can see a mesh comparison here. Now when we move the eye, the eyelids will follow along. Next, let's take a look at smooth mode. In the facial animation setup window, you'll see that our character is currently set to smooth mode. Smooth mode basically deforms your character's facial features to achieve various shapes and expressions. You'll see for the eye that we have selected, there are a number of expression presets with their associated eye shape indicated in the image. If we select the squinting preset on the left, we can use the points to adjust the shape of the eye to match the reference image. Once we're done that, we can continue on to the next eye enlarge preset and do the opposite. Since this character only has a single eye, this is pretty quick work. So hopefully you get the picture here. For the last eye closed one, we want to do just that, close the eye. Once you've completed these presets, you can open up the face key editor and go to detail settings to preview how they will look by using the various sliders. These use the shapes you just set for their individual expressions. You can see why this type of animation is called smooth mode as we get a smooth animated transition based on the presets. Okay, next let's look at sprite mode, which you'll also find in the facial animation setup. Sprite mode essentially swaps out separate images, or sprites, to generate expressions. You'll notice that the expression presets here are slightly different. Let's take a look at the sprite editor to explore this more. If we click on the right eye, you can see that there are a number of different sprite images for the different expressions. Clicking on these will switch the expression for the eye to that sprite image. There is really no limit to the number of sprites you can have when using sprite mode, so you can often create more diverse and unique expressions using this method. Okay, so now that you have an introduction to these two modes, let's look at how to animate. In the detail settings of the face key editor, you'll see that we can still use these smooth mode sliders to create expressions. However, you'll also notice now that we have our sprite mode presets here as well. They deform to a point, however past that point it will simply switch out to the assigned sprite. Here's a quick comparison on how each mode looks animated. Okay, lastly let's look at how to create a hybrid expression using both modes. To start off, I'll use the smooth mode sliders at various points down the timeline to create some smooth transitions for the eye expressions. If we want to have a more exaggerated surprised eye expression, we can enhance it with sprite replacement. To do so, I'll go to that point in the timeline and open up the sprite editor to see our options. Nothing is really extreme enough for me here, so I'm going to enter into composer mode, open up the sprite editor there to add an additional sprite. Simply ensure that your eye is selected and then click add new element. Here I can load up the goofy looking dollar sign eye and it will add to our sprite library. Back in stage mode, I can then go to the frame where I want the switch to take place and click on our new sprite. You'll see a keyframe appear in the R, I, S track, with the S standing for sprite. We can then switch it back to the normal eye at a later frame. Finally, let's look at how we can use Puppet Stage and the Trigger feature to quickly switch between different expressions. 
First, we need to save our animation. So after clicking save in the content manager, we need to name it and be sure that we select face animation as the asset type. We can also do a super quick sprite animation and save that using the same method. as well as one using smooth mode as we saw earlier. Now that we have three facial animations saved, we can open up the Puppet Stage tool and click and drag them in from our Content Manager, which will automatically assign them trigger keys. We can then give it a preview and test out the results. As you can see, each animation will play once we press its assigned trigger key. That's really all there is to it. Generating smooth mode and sprite mode expression libraries for your characters and using them in combination is a great way to enhance your animations and give them more energy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.